what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. And last episode was spicy. I know I say that every time, but seriously, last episode was mind-blowingly insane. First of all, we found out, well, rather, I found out, you guys knew this, but Alice is an android all along. <laughs> Did not see that coming. Also, Marcus took a bullet for the cause, so that's obviously helping out public opinion. And uh, on top of that, Connor <laughs> decided to betray Cyberlife. So I'm not really sure how that's going to play out, but you can guarantee they're not gonna be very happy with him. Unless he could try and find a way to lie to them in some way. I don't know how that would work, but now he is a deviant and he's on Marcus's side. See Carl. Oh, interesting choice. He's decided to go back to Carl's very lonely, cold mansion. Will Carl know that Marcus is the one that's been on the news leading this revolution? Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. Or not. Or, worrying, more worryingly, maybe something's happened to Carl because he didn't actually deactivate the alarm system and removed Marcus from it. Well, that doesn't bode well. Okay. It's a very large, creepy mansion you have here, Carl. Seems rather boring and lonely without your friend Marcus. Oh boy, it's a message from the douchebag Leo. What does he want? Hey, I'm getting out of the hospital tomorrow. They told me that you stayed with me while I was asleep. I am. Uh, I'm really sorry about everything that happened. As you should be. I'm gonna stop all that shit. It messes me up. It, it, it turns me into somebody I hate. Right, right. Hey, I, I'd like to come by and, and see you tomorrow, if, if that's all right with you. I, I just want to let you know, I'm, I'm proud to be your son. Hmm. Still very suspicious of him. He does not have the best intentions. Oh yes, there's his very fancy paintings. Carl does love to do a lot of portraits in very weird color patterns. I mean, look at that, what is that? It's like, he, it's blue, but somehow he's used every other color in the spectrum. I don't understand it. How he was able to accumulate all this fortune painting the most boring, sad portraits is beyond me, but he's a cool guy, so uh, I really can't bash him too much. Look at that, that is actually really cool. I love that pattern. It looks sort of like, uh, what do they call it? If you're like an army general, a fruit salad, something like that, I don't know what it's called, but it's like all the ribbons and the colors. You know, if you have like a certain skill in marksmanship or you uh, led a battle and won somehow, I'm not quite sure, but it's actually kind of cool. Very fancy place. Uh, tell me, Carl, are you willing to forgive me? The android uprising has begun, so it, it's probably best you have someone on your side that is an android. Hello, giraffe. Still protecting the home, I see. Unfortunately, you did a terrible job. You're supposed to be big and menacing with your long neck, but you didn't even stop a, a measly, scrawny, trembly drug addict from coming in. I mean, come on now. Some giraffe. He's a stuffed fake giraffe. I know. I should shut up. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, that has a lot more meaning now, especially after everything that's happened to poor Marcus. I don't see Carl, though. I know he's probably upstairs, but I just kind of like exploring. Okay, that's slightly morbid. Random purple torso. Hmm. Oh, I missed this last time. He has a whole backyard. And somehow this also looks lonely. How can you be this rich and your backyard looks like a, uh, a grave site? Like a, a cemetery. <laughs> it looks like a cemetery. How do you do that? Oh, hello. Big brother is always watching. Okay, obviously Carl is going to be upstairs, so let's very slowly and casually make our way up the stairs. Come on, Marcus. You can walk a little bit faster, buddy. No? Okay, cool. I kind of wonder if Carl didn't have a, uh, well, I mean, if his son didn't come by and <laughs> accidentally do something. Who knows? I really don't trust that kid at all. And how is he gonna feel? Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Excuse me? Go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. You are free. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you.
For a minute there, I kind of thought that he actually wasn't able to convert this android, so maybe they somehow was able, well, Cyberlife, to roll out a newer android that can't be converted. That would have been a twist. Hello, Carl. Long time no see. Carl. Marcus. Hey. I was hoping you'd come. I've missed you so much, Carl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? Well, no, rather, what's right? It's called the revolution. Lost? I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, okay then. <laughs> Very ominous. Advice. Sure, why not? He seems like a wise old man. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is, or fight to change it. Wow, okay, I was expecting a bit of a different answer from an artist. It's a very realistic approach. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. Mm, mm, mm. Between him and Rose, they might be the only good people on Earth. Yeah, I don't know. I was definitely expecting a bit of a different answer there. As an artist, I was expecting something poetic and philosophical. Instead, he's like, hey, man, the world sucks. You know, if it's going to consume you, at least go out fighting. I'm like, oh, well, shit, all right then. Oh, I like this. The atmosphere is amazing. They're inside a giant abandoned church. Oh, oh, this is artsy. I love this. Oh, this game is amazing. Sort of, for some reason, it reminds me of a bunch of like refugees during World War II taking shelter inside of an old church before the invading army comes in and takes over. And he's holding the dirty bomb detonator. Part of me really wants to detonate a bomb just to screw with everyone in the game, but I know that's not a great ending. At least I think so. So obviously, more sacrificing must be done. Um, uh, well, well, welcome, welcome to Android Church. Um, I don't know who our savior is, but uh, let's just say Android Jesus, because that seems to be a universal thing that works. Um, hello. Turn to your Bible, Android manual, p p page seven. Did you see that thing where it says upgrades? Max them out, boys, max them out. That's right, download everything. Martial arts, how to make nuclear bombs. We're gonna take over the world. Nope, never mind. That sounds like a fascist regime. Never mind. hold up. No, 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 sacrifice is key, people. That, that's, what, that's what we've got to do. Talk to your people, apologize to Kara, decide Connor's fate. Decide Connor's fate? What do you mean, decide Connor's fate? He's part of us now. We're not gonna decide his fate. He's gonna decide his fate, right? All right, well then. It's kind of sad Marcus has to bear the entire burden of the android uprising, but I guess that's what it is. Hello, you two are so cute. Kind of sad though that Alice turned out to be an android. There's something a little bit less special about this relationship, but whatever. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. 
Getting Ellis away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Oh, oh no, what about Luke? Uh, uh, Luther? Save our people. What about Luther? Don't tell me we lost Luther. He was such a cool character. He was the only bodybuilding jacked guy in the game. Oh, come on. Nah, he'll make a grand reappearance at some point, right when we need him. At least that's what I'm hoping for. Hello, North. Looking a little sad. Well, more than a little, actually. It's probably the atmosphere here. It's pretty depressing. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. Dark. So In a dark. few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. Survivors? How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. Bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. This game gets even more adorable by the minute. Hmm. Kind of feel like that romance, you know, snuck up on me. I didn't see it coming. They just seemed like they were kind of working together, and then now they're in love. Cool. All right. I dig it. <laughs> Is that their version of an android kiss, holding hands and sharing memories? Yep. All right, then. Let's go decide Connor's fate. I don't know what that means, but it sounds rather ominous, if I'm being completely honest. Hello, Connor. I love your incognito outfit. You look so typical of someone trying to hide. If you were an FBI agent, you'd have on a suit with dark shades, but it's all good. I'll let it slide. You know, you were in a hurry. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. That's possible. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. Well, being that I'm controlling you, <laughs> I trust you. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to? Infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Stating the obvious again? As opposed to what? Not being careful? <laughs> being reckless? <laughs> so, okay. Oh, that's big. He's gonna try and infiltrate their uh, manufacturing plant and, and basically bring a bunch of androids to life. That'd be a terrifying image. Oh, man. Okay, time to deliver a thrilling speech that will rally all your people together. And do what exactly? Are we gonna try and go to war? Are we gonna be passive and just stand there and take a bunch of bullets? That probably seems to be the case, but it's not very fun. I mean, how do you rally people behind suicide? Let's do it, guys, for the cause of androids that will die with us, because we'll all be dead. 
If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Okay. That seems to be the case with all the androids. They're gonna follow him into battle. O or death. Although, based on the android in the background, I am not quite sure they're really in the best of shape. Yeesh. Oh, wait, wait, oh, is that the android from the, uh, the, uh, the theme park from before? When Alice and Kara and Luther, oh my god, Luther, please do not be dead. When all the androids rallied around them and they, uh, put Alice on the, the, the merry-go-round? They are! These are the androids! They got rescued! Aw, oh, that makes me so happy! I was worried about them. I know they're just <laughs> fake characters in a video game, but, I mean, come on, what a drab existence. Living in a theme park with the snow by yourself. Just enjoying old memories and nothing more? Very sad indeed. Okay, inform your people of your choice. Well now, how do I do that? Oh, of course, the pulpit, or rather the lack thereof. If I'm gonna give a, a speech that will rally, you know, all the androids around me, I need a pulpit. I need to be like one of those old fiery preachers so I can start banging my fist on stuff. No, too much? Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Mmm. Oh my. Okay. Oof. March peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities. A demonstration or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. A revolution. I mean, based on what you guys are telling me, I'm, I'm, and based on my own experience so far in the game, we're gonna go with the demonstration, which of course, of course, will end in probably a lot of other androids dying. But I so know. be it. I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back. But I assure you, violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, Others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Okay, well then, I guess they're actually rallying behind suicide. They seem very excited, in fact. Well, the problem is, if they all die, the androids die with them. Like, that's the end of android kind, right? Because the others are in camps being exterminated. These are the last free roaming androids, so if this plan doesn't work, that's it. Androids are gone. It's also interesting that somehow North is in love with Marcus, yet every single time I make a choice, North is like, oh, nope, I hate that one. Nope, I hate that one too. Nope, bad choice. How is she in love with him? <laughs> uh, okay, press R1 to view Connor's flowchart. Ooh, what do we have here? Night of the Soul. Ooh, what a great name. Interesting. All right. Well, let's continue. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President. Oh, we can ask some questions. Uh, tell me, where do the emails go? <laughs> Jokes. Um, Worrying fact. A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Oh, please. <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. I bet Madam you don't. President. Deviant leader. As the leader, the deviant's been apprehended. The deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please. Neutralize it. Very carefully chosen words. I'd like to neutralize Please? your face. Hacking. Please? Is it 
true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases. All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! Oh, is it now? Man, these people are desperate to ask questions. Please? Uh, what do Please? we have here? Okay. Intelligent life. Oh, very big question. Please? Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. But you're ridiculous. Next question, please. Next please. president, please. Please. Over here, please. Um, look at these Madam beggars. President. What do we have here? Oh, hold up. Madam president. Okay. Uh, public opinion. Madam president. Public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. Mm. What a typical cookie cutter answer. Carefully chosen words and all. Okay, so this is Connor. Now, how is this going to go down? Surely at this point, Amanda is probably, at least I would think, suspecting him of working with the androids, becoming a deviant, right? But perhaps not. Maybe he can just walk right in and do, do what he wants to do and he'll be fine. Hello. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. It's a very interesting helmet design you have there, sir. Identification It's like a bird's beak. Okay. How do you even see without tripping? Go ahead. Could they not just bring the design all the way down to his chin? Oh, wow, that is a very cool game. All right. We're finally going to get to see the infamous cyber life. The little island of technology secluded from the world with a long bridge. Kind of reminds me of The Incredibles, the animated Disney movie, if you know what I'm talking about. Ooh. Very tall tower. This is the next step for Apple. Now they're doing iPhones. A few years from now, they'll be doing Androids. Just kidding. Oh, wow, this place is actually really cool. Definitely got their security on lockdown. Lots of guards, lots of drones. They have to suspect Connor of something. This feels like a trap. Well, not a trap. I mean, how can it be a trap? They weren't expecting him, but you, you know what I'm saying. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Do you now? All right, I'm following you, Birdbeak. Yes, a very cool place indeed. Oh my. I feel like though this place is like 98% plastic. It'd probably smell like the inside of a wrapper. Like uh, when you remove a plastic wrapper from something, this is exactly the type of scent a place like this would have. Identified. All right, bird beak, guide me. Where are we going? Scan complete. Access authorized. Ooh. Giant statue, artificial plastic trees? No wonder the ice caps are melting. It's your fault. You've perfected artificial intelligence and androids, but you haven't given a single care to the ecosystem. Polar bears are dying because of you. And your bird beak helmet. He's probably got like a heads up display, YouTube on one side, Instagram on the other. Oh, humans, and how you love to dawdle and waste time on like androids that are pure perfection. Speaking of which, they actually have a couple of androids on display here. Hello? Can I free them? Clearly not. Maybe this is like an assortment of all the models from the game. Definitely recognize most of them. That's the poor android, the Asian guy that was disassembled in the bathtub of Dr. Frankenstein's house. Don't worry, my fellow humans, or, uh, androids. <laughs> wrong word, <laughs> very wrong word. Agent I will free you soon. Level 31. Voice recognition validated. Okay, warehouse is level 49, sub-level 49. Okay. Man, I, I must admit though, this place is very, very cool. Neutralize the guard, stop elevator before floor 31. How can I do that? Preconstruct. Well, clearly because I've downloaded the art of jujitsu from the internet, I can simply neutralize these guys. No problemo. Oh wait, hold up. Nope, that would not work. That's called being shot in the head, beastie. Nope, that's definitely not what you want to do. There we go, a deadly kick to the abdomen. 
Let's try this one out. Yup, that's perfect. Okay. Now, only if I know how to mash all the right buttons without messing this up. Surprise, boys! Oh! Get kicked in the shin! Get karate chopped in the chesticles! And you! And you! There we go. Look at this. Oh, I'm hitting every button with perfection. Okay, not what I'm... Okay. Wow. Mm, that turned violent quickly. Not even gonna say anything. Please indicate your identity. Blood on the elevator. <laughs> Uh, ooh, Agent 54 voice, hold up. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. Okay, well that worked. Ah, what the hell, he's a demon anyway, right? Like he's a bad guy, so. It only makes sense he would kill humans. Besides, they were, they, they, they were procrastinating. They weren't doing their job. They had the like porn up on their heads up display. Minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Bird beak helmet and all. Okay, uh, we have to get to the last bus. But what about Luther? Are you alright? I'm, I'm, I'm really cold. Stop playing. We know you're an android. Deactivate? <laughs> oh no, oh, okay, never mind. Her sensitivity to cold. I was about to say, I'm cold, mother. Deactivated. Mm. Uh, deactivate. You'll feel better now. Thanks. Aw. Humans have hot cocoa. They have a touch to the forehead and deactivating their sense, their, sen their sensation of cold and hot. Okay, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. I mean, at first I, I thought this was the cutest relationship ever because it's a human child that looks up to an android like a mother. But now it, something's been lost. They're both androids. I mean, it's still super cute, don't get me wrong, but there was just something about knowing a child, a human child, could love an android that kind of, oh, was possibly an omen for the future. You know, humans could coexist with androids. Whatever, I don't know. Ah, oh, poor androids, they've been gunned down in the street. And someone was foolish enough to leave a handgun on the floor. Well, I think I'm gonna pocket that. Car is gonna be packing some heat, might come in useful for peacefully protesting, obviously. Come on. Let's not stay here. Oh! Well, now I know why I have the gun. Almost perfect timing. No, please don't hurt me. Stop on your knees. Okay, they're rounding up all the androids. How in the what hell are we gonna... gonna... Do? We have to keep going if we want to catch that bus. Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. I'm going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Okay. Let's Don't hope, uh... Me. I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Let's hope There's we can actually make this happen. Friends. Let's hide behind here. Oh, you look, you're going to die. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Oh, poor humans. What, you can't deactivate your sensation of cold and hot? Pathetic. Evolution has left you behind. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Oh, wow. This is not a very good spot to hide at all. Can I change which path I'm going on? No? Yeesh. Eh, maybe they're blind. Who knows? Hurry up. Get in. Oh, wow, that actually worked. I forgot, humans are blind. You guys need LASIK eye surgery. Is that... That son of a bitch. He's alive. I knew he was too badass to die. can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave them. They're going to kill him. She makes a very good point. Uh, we have 16 minutes. Let's save Luther. Obviously, I'm not allowing Luther to die. Okay, let's go. I just probably made a terrible choice, didn't I? Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- Got orders to check all civilians. Oh, no. No, please! Okay, well, he's an android. What? What? Fucking androids. 
What makes him so special? Why would they gun him down but then leave the other androids alive? It makes no sense. That's right, keep walking by, dumbasses. Okay, I think I can try and make a break for it over here. Now how in the hell is she gonna save Luther? I mean, there is only one guard over there, but... Oh, I have a gun! Probably not the best of ideas to start capping someone with a gun. I mean, all those loud gunshots would definitely draw a crowd. Uh, wait, what? Find a weapon. I've got a weapon. I've got a gun. That's the most weapon weapon you can have. Fine, I'll opt for the brick instead. Okay, approach slowly. I'll just... Oh, careful, 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 careful. Come on, slow. No, that's so fast. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. Oh, lights out. Carol, you shouldn't have risked your life to save me. What do you mean? Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Alice. Aw, <laughs> see? I couldn't I allow him to dead. die. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. This is the cutest android family to ever exist. I'm calling it now. Ooh, this is gonna be very tricky indeed. Okay, this guy's scanning. Yeah, just, just, just don't point your flashlight over here. Go to Burger Zone. Get yourself a burger and fries, my man. I know you're hungry. Humans are always hungry. Okay, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I hate this. I hate trying to be stealthy in video games. Especially with Big Fella over here. I mean, he, he probably sounds like an elephant trotting around. Oh! Don't even say anything. Just gun him down. Doesn't bother you in the slightest. Okay, I see how it is. Honestly, though, it's kind of a... Uh, Weird. I, I would expect by now the other humans would start protesting alongside the androids. I mean, humans need no reason to protest whatsoever. They will protest about anything, including changing the Coca-Cola flavor. Yee! Okay, that's right. And make a break for it. Although, I guess the public opinion is in favor of androids at this point, but still. Okay. I'm not gonna make a run for it yet because this guy with his flashlight seems to want to be thorough. That's not like a human at all. S stop it. Humans are lazy. They only half-ass jobs. <laughs> that was tense. Not for you, I'm sure, but for me because I screw everything up. Well, clearly they can't talk their way through the this. Checkpoint. They've got that scanner. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. Oh, yeah. Almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose a route. We're taking the detour. Okay, there's the checkpoint. It's risky. We've got nine minutes. This is, oh, 11 minutes, but safer. Yeesh. Okay. Um, okay, let, let's take the detour. If I mess it up, I'll go back and do it again, but I think this is probably safer. And it wouldn't take 11 minutes if you guys could put your legs into overdrive, which should be a thing androids can do, right? We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. Oh, wow. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Look at her. Probably playing Angry Birds. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. She's like, damn it! I was, uh, I was on the best level so far, you ruined it! No, she was definitely playing uh, Candy Crush. March toward the camp. Oh, cool, 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 cool. All right, let's just go protest peacefully and be gunned down. Again, where are the humans at? I know humans would be the first ones, at least some type of human out there, to protest alongside androids. They protest everything. You change a beverage flavor, they're protesting. I mean, for God's sake, apparently, there were people protesting about Dasani water being in the UK. 
years and years and years ago because there was a show on TV that depicted bottled water coming from like a lake or something. I'm not quite sure, but point is humans will protest actually anything and everything to ever exist. So where are, they, where are the humans at? Why are they not here protesting alongside androids? You're telling me there's not a single human out there that wants to protest alongside the androids? Like even the crazy ones, it's got like pink hair and they have the signs, they rip their shirts off. They're, they would be right here in a heartbeat, here guaranteed. Are. The moment of truth. They got the whole ass army out here. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Mm, 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 mm. Well, I mean, surely if I just stand still, you can't shoot us, right? Would you like to see us try and tap dance in unison? Oh, there's the photographers. Just here to take pictures and get your articles out, huh? Okay. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. Surrender now, or we will open fire! Oh! And they're going to surround the androids. I wouldn't try that. I've got a dirty bomb in my back pocket. There's no turning back now. Okay. Calm. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. Good message. Public opinion's definitely behind them. But where are the people at? Cowards? Probably at home watching TV right now. But that's it. Androids have made people so lazy. Oh, come on! Seriously? You sons of bitches. Could you not like drop an EMP and knock everyone out? Like that's more humane, right? Fine, let, let's just keep going. This is so painful to watch, but. Cool, all right then. Again, public opinion, you're behind the androids. Where the hell are you? They've gotten so used to having androids do their dirty work. that they're, they're so lazy, they can't even leave the house to help protest. Okay, that's a very strong Are you image. Open fire on unarmed protesters? Apparently they're going to. Who's this? No one, just a random chopper in the sky. Got it. All teams, hold your fire. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out, as long as we can. Okay. Stay sharp. That's a lot of androids. Holy crap. Shit. Yeah, that, that, that might look a little bit bad, being there's a couple dead bodies there, just saying. Uh, okay. I, I'm not quite sure what this is, but. Okay, well now I know what that is. There we go. Oh, whoo. Very cool indeed. See, it kind of makes sense though. If you're an android, you don't suffer from the, hum the human brain having to think about something and then like the electrical response going through your muscles and not actually doing what you want to do. Humans are very inefficient at their movements. Well, some of us are, like me. I trip over pretty much anything. But that, an android, like he's basically a human aimbot or an android aimbot. You can just pop, 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 pop. There are so many androids here. Holy crap. There has to be thousands. Jeez. Okay, this would definitely add to the protest. Again, though, kind of an oversight only having a few feeble humans down here. But I guess they never expected an android would walk right into their warehouse and just take over. Here we go. Let's convert this guy. There we go. Again, I have to use every single key or button on my controller. Easy. Piece of shit. 
Step back, Connor. And I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Oh no, poor Hank! He got bamboozled! Surely you could have noticed the difference, Hank, between my style and sarcasm and clean-cut demeanor and this guy. Just because we look the same. The last bus has left the terminal. There will be no more buses until further notice. Son of a bitch. We missed it. We're stuck here. Mm. What are we going to do now? Kara. <gasps> They've got the long scanner. Long. Take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Uh, find a way to leave. Okay. I like how <laughs> Luther lost opinion of Kara, even though he was the one to suggest taking the detour. Okay. Now where can they go? I'm not really sure. Um, possibly this way, maybe. Security check. They're definitely doing security checks. I don't see anything popping up right now. I fear, though, if I keep roaming around in circles, eventually I'm going to get caught. All right, what's this guy doing? Nope, not what I meant to do. Wrong button. It's amazing I've played PS4 games for well forever, but I still don't even know which keys are what. Probably because it takes such a long break in between gaming on console and playing on PC. Look at this thick boy over here. This looks like a promising place to go. It's very quiet. Out of the way. Kara, quick! Follow me! No! My man pulled through! The shaky coward! Rose is selling, he pulled through? What? I did not see that coming either. Oh, there she is. Looking thick as ever. Oh, oh my God. We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified you might have been killed because of me. How did you find us? Oh, I knew if you made it, I'd find you here. They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're checking for androids on the border but I found a smuggler who can get them across the river. It's risky, but it's the only way. Are you coming with us? I mean, I don't see a better choice out there anywhere else. Why not? Yes, we're coming. Okay, climb in. She's so nice. Between her and Carl, the only humans, well, and Hank too, I suppose now, they're the only humans worth saving. Every human in this game seems to be a piece of shit. Well, that's unfair. I suppose Adam as well. He came around. Oof. Now what about Connor and Hank? I can't believe he got bamboozled by a look-alike. I mean, seriously, Connor acts so differently now. How could you not see that, Hank? Well, they've got a little camp set up. Oh, never mind. It's a barricade. Well, that's not very good. Paparazzi still over there, just chilling, not saying anything. They could care less. They're just trying to get their cover story. Big old picture of androids dying. I see how it is. Reinforced barricade. All right. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. It's kind of odd, though. I mean, they're they're not shooting, but they're going to allow us to put up a barricade. Okay, sure, whatever. Hey, help me. Seems a bit odd, to say the least. Guess we're just gonna borrow this car. Part of the barricade. I love this game, but it has some of the oddest controls and weirdest things they make you do. Like this could have been a cutscene, but no. Right, that should do it. They want you to get in personal and do it yourself. <laughs> oh, a sign! That's gonna definitely be bulletproof, 100%. I know it was not an easy decision to make. But I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Well, let's hope so. All right. Well, 
Well, luckily they didn't really gun down too many androids. I think I saw like maybe four or five back there. Support your people. Yeah, okay, we had a few casualties Many of war. Of people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. Well, I mean, you got that right. I, I realize it's not part of the story, but personally, I, I feel like Jericho should have waited until they had rallied a huge number of supporters and then gone on the air and delivered Marcus, their message. We found what you asked for. They really didn't have very many at all. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. I think they know what's going on. They just don't care. Again, they're trying to get their cover story and that's it. Equality. Actually, no, we can, oh, I can't change it. Damn it. Here we go again. Weird controls. But I must admit, though, I love this game so much. It's probably one of the best games I've ever played, and the story is just so unique. Equal rights for androids? For all? Yep, yeah, androids. Okay, I can read. Kind of. Check soldier's position. All right. Clearly, they're still going to be behind their barricade. This won't hold them for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. I love the snow, it's so beautiful. It really adds to the atmosphere. Humans. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. Then what's the point of the barricade? Um. Regrets? Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. How? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. Android kissing. Steamy hot, I know. He's got that dirty bomb in his pocket. And we're still connected, so... As a last resort, humans are gonna be suffering big time. Clearly, that's not going to be an option I'm going to choose, but... Okay, what do we have here? Look at him out there. Oh, they're all moving up. You guys think that you're gonna just take us all out, huh? Look at you. You have so many- Wait, first of all, why are you behind barricades like that? Like sandbags and everything, as if this is a huge war? The androids don't have guns. Wh what are you barricading yourself for? They won't stop there. What are we gonna do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. Marcus! Oh! Marcus, come look! What is it? Oh, it's Dickhead! Marcus. Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Yeah, I, I seriously doubt it's that. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I just want to talk. I'm on our Marcus, but I've got an army behind me. Oh shit, what do I do? <sighs> Refuse. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate, isn't that what you want? Negotiate what? You're gonna kinda kill us, but not really? I gave you my answer. You wanna play it like that? Okay. Dickhead. Go plant some traffic somewhere. Break an ankle. What could you possibly negotiate? Like, what would be the terms of your negotiation? Let us enslave you. 
and won't let you exist. Huh? No, I don't think so. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. You have got to be kidding me. I can hear you in the comments right now. I know, I know, I made a bad choice. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Um... Uh, convince? I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Oh, it's uncanny. They really are basically the same person. Well, android, at least from the start. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Okay. Well, that's one thing Enough I think talk. I can believe. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? <laughs> save Hank. All right. All right. You win. Oh! Uh, convert! Wake up! <laughs> Why did I think in that moment converting an android would be the thing to do? Uh, uh. <laughs> Why, Connor? Why did you have to wake up when all you had to do was obey? Don't tell me that. Why oh. did you choose freedom when you could live without asking questions? Clearly, I'm not going to allow that to happen. I'm obedient, Connor. I have a goal. I know what I am. Ah. Look where your dreams of freedom got you, Connor. You've been a great disappointment to Amanda, you know. Clearly. You've been a great disappointment to me. Fortunately, that's all going to end now. Any last words? Um, Coke is better than Pepsi? Wait, no, seriously, I can do this? I, um, uh, I've got nothing to say. That was just, <clears throat> mission failed. Hey, look at that. That's the story of my life. Don't tell me I have to go back and replay everything up until this point. I do see a potential way for me to get the same thing that I want, but also, you know, Connor might die. He could transfer his consciousness, his being into the other Android potentially. But obviously I screwed that up big time. Hold up, give me one moment. I am the world's worst gamer. I, I should have held down my left control or my left uh, trigger button, but instead I just pressed it because I'm so used to games where you only press buttons instead of having to hold them down. One moment, okay, okay, I'm very lucky. I didn't have to go back and replay the entirety of that mission to get to where I was because I backed out before the mission was completely failed. So, redemption. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Mm. Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. Guaranteed. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. <laughs> this human, that's all he is. Poor Hank, he looks so sad. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Oh my God. Enough talk. He has really changed. It's time to decide who you really are. I love the character of Hank now. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Save Hank, clearly. All right. All right. 
You win. Oh! Come on now. They really are identical twins, essentially. They took the same exact shot at the same time in the same location. <laughs> well, not the exact same time, but look at that. Through the shoulder. All right, here we go. I'm fighting with myself. It's my doppelganger. Bah! I've had time to experience new things. I've leveled up, you could say. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yep, that's right. I may have learned new things, acquired new skills, but I'm still terrible at gaming. And, and dodging, apparently. Hold it. Oh! Hank, my man! Pulling Thanks, through! Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. No! Get rid of him. We have no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's this type of scenario. Is it you? Is it you? Who's the real one? No time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. No, they did this. No. <laughs> He's my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Don't move. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Well, this isn't gonna really work. He kind of knows everything. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Ah! Cole? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. Mm. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who... Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. My man, my man. Okay. I can't believe they threw that in. The double Connors, and he had to pick which one was the real Connor. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and connect to this guy, and we are going to free all the androids. This is gonna be quite the demonstration. They've got a few hundred guards. Meanwhile, a couple thousand androids are gonna roll up. Did I miss something, by the way? The wake fact up, that he knew his up. son was Cole? Wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake what an up, image. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. That is a lot of androids. A lot of androids. And are there multiple layers? Or do they decide just to roll out a batch of all the same guys with a chiseled jawline and perfect hair? Okay, so I hate to cut it off right there, but we are getting really close uh, to the ending of the game. At least I think we're getting closer to the ending. Maybe one or two episodes left. And then I'll go back and replay and try and get the worst possible ending or whatever, you know, endings there are. If there's like two or three different endings, I'll try and get those. But that's only if you want me to. Again, sorry for cutting it off here, but things are getting spicy. Next episode, I believe Luther, Kara, and Alice are going to try and cross over into Canada, the promised land for androids. Not sure how this whole protest is going to go down, but based on the fact they threw a grenade into the little uh, spot they had set up with the um, perimeter. Why, why am I having trouble speaking right now? You know what I'm talking about. They had their... 
barrier set up, and then they chucked the hand grenade in, Mr. Dickhead did from the FBI, I'm guessing things are gonna get bloody really quickly. Not that it's been peaceful so far, but you get the idea. Anyway, if you guys are still enjoying this series, smash the like button. Sorry for being a terrible gamer, but you guys already know I am very bad with controls and in games, including console Hold games. On. Just a little while longer. Hold on. Hold on just a just little while longer. While that, that's my motto for videos, because it may take me a couple of weeks to finish one video because I'm lazy. Hold Anyway, before I get a copyright strike, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until the next video, you have a great uh, voice there. Uh, peace out!